This Monday, we get moving on health. Paul Kriegler is a registered dietitian with Lifetime Fitness, and he's here to talk all about detoxes, the do's and don'ts, and you even have some examples to show us. Good morning. Good morning. So I have never done a detox, so what are the benefits of it, and when, when someone comes in and talks to you about it, what are they most intimidated by? Yeah, detox. a good detox program is, is meant to help boost energy levels, jumpstart weight loss, improve skin, and improve even sleep. Well, when I think of detoxing, Sometimes I think that it could be a big shock to someone, especially mm -hmm. if they're uh, drastically changing their diet. What is your advice to someone that is looking for a big change? Yeah, our 21-day detox program actually starts with a, a one-week prep period mm -hmm. where you start to just decrease some of the, the bad habits in your nutrition and lifestyle um, and then lead into a two-week focus period of, of actual detoxification. And we're not talking about detoxes like Gwyneth Paltrow, who basically has water and fresh herbs. What kind of detox diets do you right, recommend? Right, right. Uh, juice fasts and, and kind of master cleanse type of detox programs are not actually that beneficial. Okay. So this one is built on a, a foundation of good wholesome food with smart supplementation to support the body's ability to detoxify. And how long do you recommend someone to detox for? Are there different day spans that you recommend, especially for someone that maybe just be trying this for the first time? Yeah, we find our 14 day focused detox program is a good length of time. People can kind of get their mind wrapped around a 14 day period and it jump starts a longer period of healthy eating for them. So you brought in a, a couple of meal options. Now is this one meal or is this a breakfast and maybe a snack or what is this an example? Yeah, of? this is an example meal and a snack on, okay. on our detox program. So this meal is just roasted butternut squash, shredded chicken and some, some frozen broccoli and that's kind of a, a good easy meal to go. And when I think of the powders, I think of uh, someone like my brother who's an athlete who, mm -hmm. who en enjoys all of these powders, but what are the benefits of maybe using the powders either as a meal supplement or as an added calorie replacement? Number one is convenience. People okay. are busy and they need healthy, nourishing um, food and supplements to help them stay on track in a busy lifestyle. So convenience and stuff is number one and then consistency of nourishment. So what are some of the fad detox diets that you would say don't try those, especially for someone that's thinking about doing this? Uh, any d detox program that's just juice fasting or low protein are actually going to be very ineffective. And why is that? Your body actually needs protein and the amino acids in the protein to keep its detoxification enzymes going. So any program that eliminates protein altogether or is really low protein is not going to be very effective at all. Well, Paul, thanks for joining us. I know you'll be back at 6 o'clock. And thanks for the breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. I'll be munching on these. Jason, did you hear that? No juice detox diets. Oh, did you get oh, protein? Well, in says here? the guy selling protein powder. <laughs> so All right, Jason, you love a good juice detox I, every once in a while. Well, I don't do it for detox. So people have different reasons on why they do the, these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, you should you know check with your doctor before you do any sort yep. of radical change to yeah. your to your diet. Detoxing, it is definitely on trend these days, but if you need some convincing, trying it yourself. Bethany Keatman is here. She did a detox uh, during a weight loss journey, and she's going to tell us all about that journey. Plus, we have Paul Kriegler, a registered dietitian from Lifetime Fitness. Good morning, and thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, Bethany, let's start with you, because you are a mother of four, yes. and the oldest is seven. So, yes. you are very busy, and you very found busy. time to do this. What did it do for you, and how big of a transformation did you make? Um, I made a big transformation. I um, lost about 17 pounds. I changed my body fat by 46%. So it was a, it was a big change for me over the holidays. Um, and this was just something you did recently? It was, yep. I started beginning November and I, it was done the end of December for our 60 day challenge at Lifetime. So, and I started off, I started my 60 day challenge with the detox. And so in doing that, you were doing shakes for one meal a day and then you would eat something like this. Yes, exactly. Yep. I had one shake in the morning for breakfast and it tastes delicious and filling yeah. and kept my energy up with my four kids. And then I, yeah, I would eat normal, healthy, clean food for lunch and dinner and snacks. So Paul, you're a registered dietitian and you have conversations with people like Bethany all the time. Mm -hmm. So for someone like her or a mother at home who's watching, uh, what is that first conversation you have with someone who's interested in changing their diet and maybe trying this for the first time? It's all about resetting habits around good nourishing food and getting on a smart supplement program because those are the easiest things to incorporate right away is get some consistent nourishment with the help of supplements and then simplify your meals around good wholesome food 
Well, how big of a shock to the system can this be for someone that maybe is really looking to change their diet and change their workout routine all at once? It can be a big shock. So if you're, if you're somebody who's just totally resetting everything, we recommend a, a week or two of a run-in period or a, or a transition period into a detox program like this. Um, but it does a great job of resetting all kinds of lifestyle habits, including your dietary habits. So Bethany, what did you do in terms of working out? You talked about what you were eating, but yes. how, how did you find time to work out? Because I know your youngest is two. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I did kickboxing. Okay. So I did fight shape. And how many days a week did you do that? Two. Okay. And then I incorporated um, lifting as well. So I lifted with a trainer. So what would you recommend uh, for someone who's looking to try this? Uh, what is the first step for them to do, Paul? We have a, actually a free program that people can sign up on our website and listen to the detox podcast. So we can educate you on why detoxification is an important step in a weight loss journey or just a kind of a health reset journey. Um, so they could listen and educate themselves and make the, make the choice themselves if they want to jump in and do the kit too. Great. Well, Paul and Bethany, thank you so much for coming in. Happy Monday and congratulations. That's really cool that you were able to do that thank and you. really inspiring for, I know, a lot of people who are watching at home who have kids and have a busy schedule. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jason, Kim, Kylie. All right, Allie, thank you.